Hello everyone in TMR land and welcome back to Stranger Things Vlog. That's right, we're out and about again and today we are at the historic train depot in Orchard Park, New York. Yes, and we have a surprise for everyone. We bought our little friend Thierry and our dog has come for the adventure. So let's take a look at the train depot in Orchard Park and we'll see all the historical sites and some of the fun with our furry friend Thierry. Let's go guys, check out the depot. wants to ride the train. No one's at the depot, buddy. In 1911, this historic railway station was actually first built by the Buffalo, Rochester, and Pittsburgh Railway Company. They had a little bit of funding help from Mr. Yates, who is a wealthy townsman here in Orchard Park. And in 2007, this was added to the National Historic Registry, preserving this historic railway station for generations to come. One of the cool things about historical sites like this are the ornate fixtures and the attention to detail people used to take. Look at all the hardware and accoutrements just to install a light. Pretty amazing. In 1971 is when the Burke family actually purchased this whole lot and in fact the depot, and not until 1983 was it put on the railway registry. So not the National Registry of Historical Places, which was 2007, but and in 1983 it was put on the railway registry, and that's when it was actually restored and refurbished to its original glory and majesty. So the 1911-1912 visual masterpiece that you see came in 1983. Look at the old intricacy, guys. It's very amazing. Hey, Ryan. Let's go check out the freight house over there. So it is starting to sprinkle a little bit. But that doesn't dampen our souls here at Stranger Things. No, no. With October on the verge, it only makes things better. If it was a downpour, it would be a lot. A lot more difficult, but a little sprinkle never hurt anyone. Wow, look at this. Guys, look at the bricks here. So what's really cool about all this brick is it was hand laid. So even today, brick would be hand laid like on a patio or something, but in this grandeur, it's almost like a roadway or a path. So all of this being hand laid by, you know, handfuls if not dozens of people and craftsmen even this like serpentine path over here where it kind of turns and curves it's amazing kind of strange to think about actually very strange indeed especially with the way roads are paved now and just kind of slapped down either concrete or blacktop but this this is true artistry roads and pathways pathways of bricks it's not a yellow brick road, but impressive nonetheless. So now we're gonna take a peek. There are some train cars over here, caboose cars. Now we probably can't get into them. Sometimes for special events, they do open them to the public, but generally they are not open to the public. So 
we're gonna come take a peek, see what we can see. What's great about this area, Stacy was just pointing out. What did you say, Stace? It smells old. It smells old. See, to me, it smells like Thunder Mountain Railroad, big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Steel and rust, dirt. It smells like the Old West. Yes, indeed. The wild is right in the wilderness. The old prospector would say, the wild is right in the wilderness. The rain is starting to come. Oh, yes. What do you smell, boy? What is it? For those that don't know, this is actually called a truck. Now, it is wheels, obviously, and it's not a truck like on the road, but this is the truck of a train. Interesting, fun knowledge for those out there that want to know. He's not interested. So for more fun train facts here, the B and O, and most trains have the actual lineage painted on the side of the cars. So the B and O actually stands for Baltimore and Ohio. So Baltimore and Ohio is what this B and O stands for, and that is actually what lines that these cars would run on. So fun facts out there for those that want to learn a little bit more about trains. Strange, isn't it? But it's a good way to keep track of where trains are and where they're going. Some barricades so ruffians can't climb. Can I climb on the, on the ladders? No, no. None shall pass. You shall not pass. The penitent man. The penitent. The coupling on this is ginormous. It's like this. Look, it's the size of a. It's almost the size of a human being. A small child. A small child. It's, it's its own bassinet almost. It's like a little carrier for a baby. But don't put your baby there. No, no. Baby's not allowed. No, no. I feel like River Phoenix in Last Crusade. Indiana Jones. But there's no giraffes or rhinos on this car. Or snakes. Ugh, ugh. Snakes. And here it is, the caboose, in all of its red majesty. Majesty? Oh, I'm tangled. I'm all com uh, I, I uh, feel like uh, Roger! Roger Rycliffe! Oh. Come on! We gotta catch the train! <laughs> oh. Almost didn't catch that one. Oh, brother, I left Stacy though. My knees hurt. So another neat feature about all these buildings is they have this terracotta roof, which again is not really of the style of that period, but it's kind of just neat. I like it. I approve. Well, that wraps up Stranger Things vlog here at the Orchard Park Train Depot. Yeah, we learned some cool historical facts and got to see some of the old train cars. Yeah, and you got to meet our good friend and little boy Tyrion. He is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, check out more on tmrproductionstudios.com as well as our Etsy shop for fun buttons and other Disney memorabilia as well as TMR made crafts and things of that nature. Yeah, so we're glad you stopped by. We're glad you hang, hung out with us and we'll see you next time on our next Stranger Things vlog. Yes, join us on our next adventure, if you will. Kongaloosh. Kongaloosh.